guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full body stretch video. Honestly, I woke up this morning and I was like, my legs are sore, my upper body feels just a little bit stiff, so it's a perfect time to film a mobility video. So if you guys have a blank wall, it doesn't have to be this big, but as long as it's like around the size of your arm, that's what we're gonna be using primarily today. I just wanted to kind of change it up and show a couple other stretches that I absolutely use, um, both in my own stretching as well as my programming. So without further ado, we will get this video started. Hopefully you guys like it, and if you do, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and find yourself a wall. Let's get started. So before we get right into the stretching sequence where we're using the wall, I do wanna do a little bit of a warm up. So let's start with our wrists. We're gonna do some milkshakes. Milkshakes. I don't know if you guys have seen this one before. I'll come up a little bit closer. But all you're basically doing is just rolling your wrists. And then we're gonna do some roller coasters. Again, because I just woke up, my upper body's always just a little bit stiff. So just rolling out my wrist roller coasters for a quick like 30-ish seconds to a minute. Once that's all good, we're gonna move up to our shoulders. So we're just gonna go big shoulder circles for 10. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. And then we're gonna go forwards, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna do one of my favorite stretches in the morning too, and I do this like literally right when I go to bed. I just do like a nice look up to the sky. We're gonna circle our arms up, put the head back to neutral, just eyes looking up. We're gonna big stretch down, feel into the ground. Try to have palms on the ground. You're gonna actually lift the toes off the ground to get a bigger stretch in our hamstrings. We're gonna do a little squat. That was my ankle. We're gonna go back up, and then we're gonna do it two more times. <laughs> Against the wall we're gonna start a little bit further away from the wall about arm's length so you're not too close with them bent you want them nice and straight we're basically gonna slide into the wall and then try to go as flat as you can So that one's only for three. We're gonna move on to the next one. Again, once we've basically touched the wall, we're not moving from the wall the entire time. We're gonna have our hand facing forward. Uh, the palm is gonna be facing outwards. The leg is gonna be against the wall, always having contact with the wall. So my left leg is forward, my left arm is on the wall. We're gonna circle it up. Palm will face outwards until the top. That's when we're gonna turn it and then try to circle back and touch. That one, my shoulder came off the wall, but ideally, you wanna keep contact with the wall the entire time. So for me, I'm a little bit stiff, so I can't actually go 180 if I want to. I'm getting a little stuck, so I'm not gonna try to push through that stuck period. I'm just gonna stretch it, hold it, and then move it back. Whenever you're stretching, you should never wanna feel like you're pushing past a sticky point. Just let it chill. It'll come with time. As you start warming up a little bit more, it'll start loosening. Moving around to the other side, we're gonna have, sorry, our left foot in front. Sorry, our right foot in front. Our right foot in front, right arm. And again, we're doing the same circle. So this side's actually a little bit better for me. My left side seems to be tight today. So again.
You can flex your toes to just like the toes are off the wall or you can keep them relaxed depending on your mobility. We're gonna do a nice big stretch up. We're gonna reach forward, compress as low as we can. Again, we wanna make sure our knees stay nice and flat. So no bending of the legs, keeping them nice and straight. We're gonna hold that there for three, two, and one. Shake out the legs. We're gonna do a three 10 second hold. So this is our, that was our first one. We're gonna move on to our second and third. Reaching up and then down, trying to get a little bit further this time. Again, keeping everything nice and flat. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go, let it relax, shake it out a little bit. Going for our last one. We're gonna reach up nice and high and then get down as low as you can. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Okay, so now that we've done some flat stretches, we're actually gonna get our body up against the wall. So we're gonna scoot our bum forward. Arms are behind us. Fingertips can be facing away from you. They can be a little bit wider than shoulders, but do try to keep them a little bit more narrow because that also doubles as an arm stretch too. So, bum nice and close to the wall, circling our legs up. Depending how flexible you are, you might be a little bit further away. Ideally, we like to see flat, toes flexed, nice flat back, and then sitting up nice and straight. We're gonna hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, we're gonna slide our legs down as far as they will go. Let them hang out here, let gravity do its work. We're gonna hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna circle them back up again. We're gonna to try to get a little bit closer this time. Flex those feet, nice flat back, holding for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Circling down. This time we're gonna actually fully lay down. Run through that one twice, slowly come down. Again, keeping your body nice and close to the wall. Adjust if needed. This one I'm just gonna let my legs fully relax because if you point them, then you're almost holding your legs up in the stretch. We just wanna have them relaxed and let gravity do its work. We're gonna hold this one a little bit longer. We're gonna go for 20 seconds here. So again, just letting yourself relax as much as you can into the stretch. Big, deep breaths. Imagine your feet getting pulled closer and closer to the ground. Again, keeping everything relaxed, just kind of chilling out. Depending on your mobility, your legs might be a little bit higher, but that's totally fine. With time, gravity will bring them down, I guarantee it. Coming back up, we're gonna do a small little shake of the legs. And then now we're gonna go back down. Trying to get those heels a little bit lower, so I'm just sliding them down a little bit. I'm gonna hold for 15 more seconds. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, slowly bring that up, relax the legs. Coming up, and then we're gonna move into our lunge sequence. All right, so this next sequence that we're gonna do is gonna be using the foam pad. I just had to go and grab it super quick. And I also wanted to change the angle so you guys could see a little bit better. But we're gonna put our back knee against the wall. We're gonna stay close to the wall first. So ideally, get that bum glued to your heel and stand up as high as you can with your chest while keeping that contact. So if you start to stand up and you start to push away, just modify it. You just wanna keep yourself nice and straight. We're gonna hold each of these positions for 15 seconds. So again, I'm trying to think of also tilting your pelvis forward and that's gonna get a huge stretch in both your quad and your hip flexor. So we got five, four, three, two, and one. We are now gonna edge that foot out and make it wide. And now we're gonna do the opposite. So now we're gonna push this hip right down to the ground, keeping an upright position for 15 seconds. Try to keep your shoulders square, so don't let yourself turn too much. You wanna keep yourself facing forward, pushing that hip down into the ground. We got three, two, and one. We're gonna come back up, 
We're gonna flex that front leg through here. We're gonna push it back into the wall and get down as deep as we can into this hamstring stretch. I find this one actually stretches me more than if I'm just flat against the ground, just like a regular hamstring stretch. This one I can really push back into my glute, really flex that front leg and seat, di seat deep, sit deep into my stretch. We're gonna hold that there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna switch our legs. So now it's gonna be the right leg back touching the wall. This is my left leg, so I'm a little bit stiffer. Again, that narrow stance first. We wanna tilt that pelvis. Ooh. Get your balance first, that's important. Tilt that pelvis, pushing that hip forward. Again, depending on how tight you are, you might not be able to keep contact and stay this directly high. You might have to be a little bit lower, but you'll still feel a stretch. So pushing forward, Woo. 15 seconds. So it's a little bit tighter for me. Pushing forwards, we got five, four, three, two, and one. Feeling a nice big stretch in that leg. Walking that front foot out a little bit further, pushing that hip forward. Readjust if needed. And then yeah, keeping those shoulders nice and square. Don't let the leg also like tilt this way. You always wanna keep it stacked. That's one thing I should also mention as my leg almost just did that. Pushing forward. If you need yoga blocks, you can always have yoga blocks right here. That's gonna make the stretch a little bit easier for you. And that's 15 seconds. We're gonna slide that foot out, flex it, and then reach down and then flex that front foot. Holding here for 15 seconds. We're gonna go for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. The next one we're gonna do, still using the wall. Back leg up, front leg here. We're just gonna also have our arms up now and we're gonna try to, again, push that pelvis forward, arms up above head, and try to get our back nice and flat against the wall. To get an extra stretch, you're gonna watch my pelvis. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'll try to tuck my shirt in. So if I have a slight back, if I have a slight, words are so hard right now. If I have a slight arch in my back, I basically want to make it as flat as I can rather than arch, and that's gonna feel it oh, a ton in that hip flexor. We're gonna go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So that one's kind of more of an advanced one for anyone who finds these first ones pretty simple. You can still do it because you're about to see on my left leg. My left leg, like I said, is a lot tighter. So, pushing up. Tilting that pelvis. Arms above head. My arms are still above head, but I'm basically like a good distance away from the wall. I'm not as flat just because that stretching is just a little bit too much for me. So if you are someone who finds it tight, just stay up nice and tall. Again, you still want to focus on a nice flat back and then just reaching up. So we're going to go for 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it on down. So that's my favorite lunge complex to do against the wall. I just find having my leg glued against the wall, depending on how stiff you are, just it's a really great stretch for my lower body, my quads and my hip flexors. I just find I get a little bit deeper and I program it for so many of my clients just because it is so good and so useful. Do one more lower body stretch. So our leg is gonna be flat on the ground hand's gonna be on the ground. We're gonna stretch up with that leg. Ideally, we'd like to see it nice and close at the beginning, just so that way we're nice and flat against the wall. If you can only go to say here, that's totally fine. You just hang out in whatever mobility you have where that top leg is staying straight and same with the bottom leg. So we're gonna hold our needle stretch for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out of it. We're gonna switch our legs. Right leg's gonna go up. We're gonna walk back into the wall. We're gonna hold this. Again, keep your hips nice and square for here too. You don't wanna be turned out or pushing a awkward way with your weight. Just nice and straight into the wall. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out of that one. So this stretch is really good for anyone who's trying to get their splits eventually. It's just a great way to see kind of how far you are away from that like 
perfect 180 degrees. We've done our lower body a ton. We will be moving on to our upper body. So again, I did change the angle of this a little better so you guys could see me. We're gonna be moving our arm this way, right behind us in a nice straight line. We're gonna basically be pushing. Imagine this part of your armpit being pushed forward and you're gonna look out this way. This is gonna give you a little bit of a stretch right through that chest area. And then we're gonna bring it back. So we're gonna go for about three. So pushing and then back. Good, and then other side. So again, right out next to us, we're gonna push against the wall, push out and then back in. Out and then in. Good. Remember that first stretch we did, the wall cro cobra crawling up and crawling down with their arms? This time we're just gonna set our arms up. Feet can be slightly apart. You don't wanna have too much tension though, so depending on your flexibility, you might have to step in closer to the wall so that way the mobility is a little bit less demanding through the low back. Coming back up, shake our wrists. One that I like to do in between any arching ones is I'll just put my hands against the wall and I'll just round my back and then relax. Round my back and then relax, do one more. Good, it's basically doing like a scat push up, but you're just standing upright. We'll go back into that cobra one more time. Again, move down to those scat push-ups. We're gonna round the back and then sink in the shoulders. Keeping the arms straight the entire time. Two. One more. Three. So I'm trying to move my scaps as much as I can in that one just to give me a little bit more movement. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I did do a slight a bit of a lie at the beginning. You will need more room on the wall if you're gonna do that full straddle stretch. However, if you don't have a wall big enough for like your legs, you can totally just turn perpendicular to the wall. I think that's the right word, perpendicular. And just let gravity do it itself, just body weight and not using the wall. Honestly, the wall is a really great form of stretching. I use it a lot with my clients, just adding them in because obviously we can go through those free form stretches, but having the wall where you can like push against yourself or push deeper into the stretch is just super helpful when it comes to increasing your mobility and flexibility. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe and comment and I will see you guys next time.